Let me show you some very dangerous things. You know, I read a story that fascinated me. It is the story of the first prime minister of Singapore, Lee Kuan Yew. Lee Kuan Yew is the first prime minister of Singapore. Lee Kuan Yew is actually credited by bringing Singapore from a third world country to a first world country within three terms of leadership. And I was reading the story of Lee Kuan Yew. One of the things that he did immediately he entered power, he went forward to ban all negative media. The first principle he did and legislated, he said, in this country, as long as I'm prime minister, you can never criticize my leadership. You know, right now, Democrats are getting confused and very frustrated. Let me tell you, the kingdom of God is not a democracy. Lee Kuan Yew, when he became prime minister, immediately, he closed down some media houses. You know, after this service, you will close down some media. Demonic media will be closed down. Any media speaking against your marriage, you will close it down. Lee Kuan Yew took Singapore right now. Singapore is one of the wealthiest country in the world. And it was a third world like Kenya, like Uganda. When he entered power, the first thing he did, he said, every media, because he understood you will never do anything if people are constantly accusing you. You can't even court successfully. You are trying to love this guy and change him. Change him. And there are people that are busy pulling you down. Let me tell you something. I realized that Lee Kuan Yew was using a kingdom principle. Salvation and strength has come because the accuser has been... Do you know that if you don't learn how to deal with accusation, you will never go anywhere. There will come somebody that criticizes your weight. And then you believe so you can never get married criticizes your nose criticizes your work in your workplace you must learn how to silence accusers check your staff in your hotel if you don't learn to deal with accusation among us the staff the hotel will fall the company will fall because accusation is designed and targeted to apostle I will not allow you to criticize me demonically if you don't like me I also don't like you why are we liking liking each other why do I have to sit down and listen to accusation day and night oh you're just getting shorter 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 you used to be an amazing singer somebody said you sing like a frog and you started sounding like a frog because accu let me show you something. Can I show you? I want to show you quickly seven purposes of accusation. And before I show you the seven purposes of an accusation, I want to define what is an accusation. What is an accusation? I would rather you slap me in the day. Why are you chongaing me in the dark? You enter a room, everybody gets silent. People that used to love you. Because somebody said something that changed the way people see you. From today, you will learn how to do, deal with those jokers. What is an accusation? Write this down. An accusation is a charge, a claim that someone has done something illegal or wrong. It is an allegation, an assertion, an indictment. To accuse is to blame. To condemn without trial, to criticize, or to complain. Am I making any sense? The other word used for accusation is called aspersion. An aspersion. What is an aspersion? To asperse is to attack reputation. Oh my God. To attack the reputation or integrity of someone or something. To attack reputation. 
somebody's reputation by the time the enemy is done with you let me show you the seven purposes of an accusation you know after today before somebody says anything you will pull their lips you don't know I am closing down every negative media mm. The Bible says you will be ready to condemn every tongue that rises in judgment of you. Hey. When tongues rise, you don't talk with tongues. You condemn tongues. Hey. Let me tell you something. The enemy will beat you with a tongue first. Goliath said, you come here today. I will kill you and give you to the bus. David responded louder than Goliath. You will know who I am. I don't come with sword or with javelin, but I will cut your head and give you to the birds. You must learn how to respond to accusation. Accusations will never stop until you stop them. I want to tell you, accusation will never stop until you stop them. Praise God. Write this thing. Number one, the first purpose of an accusation, write this down, is to degrade your value. To degrade your value. Come here, Pastor Chalo. Yes, sir. Look at this man. How does he look? When the devil starts accusing you, the first purpose is to degrade you. By the time he's finished with you, nobody will see this suit. Accusation comes to undress you. It is even better you had come to my house and called me a donkey. Rather than you go to media and say where you saw me and it's a lie and bad news sells. Who am I talking to here? The first purpose of an accusation is to undress, to degrade. And if you don't know how to respond to accusation, by the time they are finishing with you, you will be naked in your own mind. The enemy will strip you, strip you, take apart your marriage your character until you feel like changing estates quitting the job whoever is accusing you is interested in your position uh, they are interested in what you have and if they can accuse you successfully you can walk away without a fight accusation will create depression 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 there will be no fight do you know what happens to two boxers before they enter the ring they go into an insult match. They go and sit in the room like this and they face each other. They are not supposed to touch each other. It is insult. Shaitani way. No wonder Kugonga, Ongea. Ongea. Wait. Nakwabia way. Are you a fighter or a farmer? Shaitan. By the time you know, when people ask you, who are you? You say, a farmer. People ask you, are you called? Are you called into ministry? No, 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 no. Me, ministry. Who said? Who said? Reverend who? Uh, let me tell you something. The first purpose of an accusation is to degrade you. Listen, do you know what is happening this season? God has sent you miracles. He has sent you favor. He has sent you grace. He has come to establish you and open doors for you. But what you will see is an accusation. Let me tell you, under accusation, you should be composed first. Never let the devil see you stressed, sweating because they called you a, a situation, what, whatever. If they see you shaking, that's exactly what they want. One day, they said that Jesus is casting out demons through devils. He responded and he said, a kingdom divided cannot stand. If I'm using demons to cast out demons, then the devil is fallen. You are the ones using demons. You must never sit down and take accusation quietly. Forget this nonsense you are taught, you know, turn the other cheek. It is not in every situation. Let me tell you, there are so many people here. There are places you are demoted from because you didn't know how to handle accusation. If the accusation deals with your confidence, it will appear true. Because if you learn how to navigate the waters of accusation, you become a giant. 
when Saul accused David, David became a king. Accusation carries an ability to impart an anointing. Am I making any sense? If you are going to build anything significant in life, you must budget for accusation. Me God, I'm leaving this thing, why? If this thing is of God, why are people against me? What do you mean? Anything of God, people will be against it. The first purpose of an accusation is actually to degrade your value. Your value will be taken to the dogs. You wake up in the morning, you feel like trash. And then you begin to walk like trash. And then you begin to look like trash. And then you, you continue to feel like trash. And then when they ask you, who are you? You say, I'm trash. The devil is a liar. Shout, the devil is a liar. Yes. The second purpose of accusation, write this down, is to disgrace you. One of the ways the devil wants to use accusation is to disgrace you so that you lose your voice. Nobody will be disgraced in Newbury City Chapel. After today, every accusation will be cast down. I'm telling you, they want to disgrace your marriage, they want to disgrace your career, they want to disgrace you financially, your love life disgraced. When you are private and your life was not known, nobody had anything to do with you. Now that you look like you are rising, to story to my hands, that I will yeah, when Obama, <laughs> when Obama started vying for presidency, they traced his roots. They even said he's not American. They said all kinds of things. Listen, when accusation starts, just know that you are closer to the target. Yeah.